What's going on, Infinite Fam? Welcome back to another video. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notification bell, leave a positive comment down below for a chance to get a what? Shout out in the next video. That is right, guys. So your arm, your showing What about me. it? I know, but they can't see all of it. Oh my god! They just see little bits and pieces. <laughs> all right. So as you guys can tell by the title and thumbnail of the video, let me just let me just go. Yeah, ahead. stand like that. As you guys can tell by the title and thumbnail of the video, your boy got tatted. All right. As you guys, you guys saw my arm a little bit. It's real. It's not a prank or anything. This is a real tattoo. I actually got a sleeve done. What's your reactions on it first before we actually get into this? What do you mean? Like, do I like it? Yeah. What do you What do you think about it overall? The piece, uh, the meaning behind it, and um, just the overall quality of the tattoo. I think the quality is great. The tattoo artist did an amazing job. Um, and I also feel like the meaning behind it is beautiful. And yeah. Shout out to my boy Ben at Next Generation Tattoos. He's super fast. Yeah, he finished Isaiah's sleeve in like, what, five hours? Five hours, but it's not done yet. So mm -hmm. I still have basically a little less than halfway to go. I still have about one more big piece that I want to incorporate, which is going to be this blank spot right here, and then I'll be done. But that's going to take one more session, which is going to be my next session, and then that's it. I'll have a complete sleeve. Yeah, which is crazy because I've been getting tattoos since 2018, and I'm still not done. Yeah, you're still not done, man. You, it's because you do little pieces. I, I feel like I just went all out. You know, I did a whole big piece. Yeah, I guess so. I, I knew what I wanted. Yeah, no, you didn't. Shut up. <laughs> I kind of did. I just made it, like, I don't know. We're we just going to get into the meaning real quick. So, you guys know, uh, last January, my grandmother passed away so I wanted to get a whole sleeve dedicated to her so my whole left arm is dedicated to her when you guys see the tattoo each piece I think there's gonna be one two there's gonna be three pieces in total when the whole sleeve is completely done right now I have two pieces on my arm so the top piece it really the whole piece is just for her really it's just because it's a she was a religious woman and there's a specific meanings behind the pieces that I really don't want to get into but just know that it's for my grandmother and and she was a religious woman as I I was about to say as am I but I'm not a woman um, I'm a religious person all right so yeah uh, enough with all the sappiness I'm gonna roll some clips that I took at the tattoo shop let you guys peep the whole process what was going down and then I'll give you guys a more detailed look after that roll the clips <laughs> So as you guys saw, that was basically, I would say a majority of the process. I actually did get numbing cream on my whole arm before. My tattoo artist recommended it. I was never the type to want to go for numbing cream. Yeah. But since he moves really, really fast, he was like, bro, if you do the numbing cream, I can move really, really quickly and we can get your sleeve done. So I was like, you know what? I'm all for it. I want to get this whole piece done. I don't want to have to come back like six times just to get this done. So I went ahead and did it and I felt absolutely nothing. Yeah. I would say for half of the tattoo though. Like half of the sleeve, I felt it. Half of it, I did not because the numbing cream wore off. And the tattoo process, it doesn't hurt that bad. It doesn't. Everyone makes it seem like it hurts so bad and oh, it's hard don't, to get a tattoo. Don't it's get me wrong. It, it's painful, but it's bearable. Like it's not like, you know, like OD where it's like, oh my God, I can't take this anymore. Mm -hmm. However, that elbow area, that hurts a lot to you it hurts a lot and the shading the shading hurts a lot and you don't think to that you. either you think the line work hurts i don't know yeah. how because i use single needles you use like 10. Right. man whatever bro all right guys enough talking i'm gonna hand over the camera to janice and she's gonna go ahead and get the details of the tattoo get, let you guys get a closer look um comment down below what you guys think of the tattoo again shout out my guy ben at next generation tattoos he's a monster he did that shit really really fast honestly very impressive and we have another tattoo appointment actually this monday mm -hmm. coming up it's gonna be crazy but we're not working on the sleeve we're actually getting something else it's gonna be crazy <laughs> it's gonna be crazy <laughs> babe <laughs>
So yeah guys, that is the tattoo. So just a quick little overview if you guys don't know what you're looking at. Um, this is the Virgin Mary. Again, grandma was a religious woman. The angel, it's supposed to be a whole like piece dedicated to her. My grandma's in my angel now. Uh, St. Michael, I've always wanted a St. Michael tattoo. It's uh, basically, if you guys don't know who St. Michael is, if you guys aren't Catholic, he's basically a saint that protects you from all evil, keeps basically the positive energy with you. Um, I'm very big on stuff like that. And babe, you know what's crazy is that the last piece that we have left to do to fill all this in, mm -hmm. I feel like is the piece that I'm gonna love the most. And I don't have it on me yet. It's so it kind of right. bothers me. Save the best for last. <sighs> but it's gonna be crazy, right? I think the last piece is gonna be like the best piece. Like as far as like meaning, what do you think? Like meaning wise, I think it's the best, the best piece. Maybe. <laughs> you don't think so? What do you think know. is the best piece? What's your opinion? I like the Virgin Mary. Really? Yeah. Why? Because like the way it just looks like. I don't know. It's just like I feel like it represents your grandmother the most. I can see that. But yeah, guys. So um, that's pretty much it. We're going to close out the video now. This whole process was crazy. And it was honestly on a whim. We had no intentions of actually going to get this done yesterday. His wife actually hit me up and was like, yo, Ben actually has an open availability today at like 1 o'clock or something like that. Someone canceled on him. Do you want it? I was like, hell yeah, I want it. Because I originally had booked my appointment out for March. Yes, that's a long time. I didn't want to wait that, so the minute that she said he's free, I took it, and now I'm hoping that he has another day free. I just need one day, though, before mm -hmm. I booked for three. Now I just need one. I'm hoping that next day is going to be soon within, like, the next week or so because I really want to get this done. I'm loving it. Also, don't mind the purpleness and all that. That's basically, what is it called? The like It's the, just ink. It's just ink from the stencil, that's all. The stencil, all right. So that purple, all the purple stuff that you guys see, like all that's going to go away. That's supposed to wash off. That's kind of just like a stain right now. But yeah, let me know what you guys think down below. Your boy is finally tatted. And you got anything else you want to say? No. <laughs> all right, so let's close this out. All right, Infinite Fans, so that is it for today's video. You got anything else you want to say, babe? No. <laughs> Are you excited? Yes. For me to finish my sleeve? I'm excited for you to get your next piece, too. We're not going to talk about it, though. Yeah. Like, it's going to be crazy. I just feel like I, I'm a chump now. Like, I don't have as many tattoos as you. Yeah, but your next piece is going to be a big piece. So it's going to it's gonna start looking real full after that. I can't wait. I'm excited. It's going to be crazy. <laughs> Yo, who would have thought I would have got a tattoo? Whoever thought I would have me the innocent looking little boy? You are not no damn little boy. You was a grown man. Bro, a lot of people be thinking like, oh my God, he looks so innocent. He looks too good. Like, and now yeah, I, know. I look tainted. So with all that being said, Infinite Fam, that is it for today's video. It is now time for today's post notification shout out. Today's post notification shout out goes out to Alicia Lopez. Shout out to you, girl. Thank you so much for the love and support. If you guys want a post notification shout out, all you guys gotta do is... Like, comment, share, subscribe, and turn on your post notification bell so you're notified whenever we post a new video. And with all that being said, we will catch you in the next one.